Hello everyone, Cliff here, I'm in my shed again. This is just a supplementary video really on the Arbor Press. I did a, a video on a little while ago. Uh, it's just about a hack to make the handle adjustable. Let me zoom you into the um, business bit and show you what I mean. Yeah, so I've been doing a bit of coin ring making on it and using it and I'm getting the hang of it and I'm getting quite fond of it to use for coin ring making. The thing that does annoy me a bit, I mean one of the things I've already changed is the handle on it. I uh, bit the bullet and bought some 16mm stainless steel bar and cut an 18 inch length off to make a new handle for it, just use the same caps on it. I bent the other one when I was messing about a bit before trying to punch the coins. But the thing that is a little bit annoying is when the handle's in the wrong place. If I'm sort of sitting down here on my stool and it's you want to be able to move the handle. <clears throat> now I know there's a a hack where you take the bottom two teeth out of the rack. Um, but I don't really want to grind the teeth out of that. So I mean what I've pretty much been doing is this this collar that goes on that holds the the gubbins that moves the rack up and down just goes on there and that's held on with an allen screw what I thought I might try and do is make that easily removable, I've been just using it without it and is all I'll do is if so I want the handle to come, so I want it to be there and the handle finishes here but I want it to finish down there that's all I do, just pu pull it in and out but um, I wanted to make something a little bit better for that so I've got these kicking about it's just a little ball catch, a little 5 16th ball catch the actual ball bit is in there, I don't know whether the camera's focusing on it so what I thought I'd do is drill a 5 16th hole in here, it's going to be a bit bigger and basically I'm going to drill a hole in here drop the actual ball catch bit of this ball you know, obviously I don't need to strike a plate I'm going to put the ball catch into here drill another hole in the collar to sort of take the ball maybe file a little entry point for the better, for want of a better word on it so hopefully it will click on and off so first thing I've got to do is mark up where to drill the hole on here alright so I've got the gear that operates the ram and I've blued it in the right place in the end you won't believe how hard that is might put that in the outtakes there I'm just going to poke it through put the collar on and hopefully get a little mark of where I want to drill the hole alright that's got it alright I'll centre punch that and get it over to the drill press Well, I've got it in the drill press, it's in the vise, I've lined up the table with my little centre punch mark I'm going to uh, centre drill it then I'm going to drill an eighth hole right the way through just in case that little ball catch gets stuck or anything in it um, then drill it five sixteenths, then I'm going to have to measure the rest of that little ball catch to see how much the outer edge of it I've got to drill to get it right down into the so obviously it won't interfere with anything but let's get this drill to start with oh, well that's a 3 8 volt drilled I've done it about 3 8 so I've, I've measured it on the um, 
ball catch is about three eighths so goes in there nicely. Now I've just got to drill, find out what size this is and drill this a little bit till it fits in there. So what this is in millimetres. Just a little bit over nine mil. go down slightly less than two It's a bit better, it's a bit wonky, but might not hurt too much. Right, let's go back to the uh, press. Right, so there's the um, little ball catch stuck in the end of the gubs. I'll put your handle back in. So like I say, the point of it is if, um, let's grab something, imagine you're using that in there, and you get to there, and you want your handle down here, you can just pull that, put it where you want, and click that back on, and to adjust it, just got to pull it off, move it, push it back on. I mean, it won't take, it don't take a lot to get it off. It wouldn't stop it coming off, but it will stop it moving, moving off if you don't want it to. It's better than not having it on there at all, which is how I was using it. But I can think of a better way by making another collar for that. Which I might do another time, but that will do for now. That just gives me, keeps the collar in place while I'm doing it. Anyway, simple look at and it saves grinding your teeth out. Which I didn't particularly want to do. Thanks for watching, see you again. Alright, so I'll put a bit of blue on the, um, whatever you want to call these gubbins. Except I've blued it the wrong side where I want to go. Yeah.